Hello internet people, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tell Me Why. Uh, last time, we had like a very, you know, what's it, things escalated quite quickly with the story when they got into the house and, and Tyler found his diary and like all these memories came in and now they've got some questionable thoughts as to why their mother, Mary Ann, wanted to kill them when they were younger. Well, 10 years ago. So, yeah, we're picking off there where they were having or were going to have a conversation there at the stoop. <laughs> the stoop. Okay. All right. Well, let's go on. Uh, maybe Tess has answers. Must be nice to forget. Okay. Let's say maybe Tessa has answers. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Sure. Okay. Crazy. Just and just before I look at this this view is amazing though. Like look at this mountain. It's beautiful. And this all oh, this on the frozen lake. Anyway, just wanted to put it out there. Okay, uh right down rush is something wrong. I'm gonna ask her this one. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just, you graduated three years ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Um, I guess it wasn't really. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Something about you. <laughs> now I won't be so mean. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some uh, time to figure my shit out before I, I asked that anyone too. else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, what's the conversation? Um, why the rush? Let's see. Let's see, do we have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Alright. Deal. Always yeah, cool. diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Okay, Was well, I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. So, she was complaining. I'm just doing a quick summary here. I'm not going to read everything. So, she was complaining that she wasn't chosen to be in hockey because it's a boy's sport. And... 
it bothers it at Allison are creating the stories uh, why can't there be a boy goblin so um, yeah so obviously she's all this like she didn't understand initially what she was well what Tyler was well okay when he was a she was going through at the time um, because Tyler thought when she when he was young you know um, you know before transitions this is like normal for him to feel like this and everything so you know anyway uh, do this do that I'm sick of her voice I'm sick of that done name too I'm Ollie the Goblin uh, Anyway, um, where do I go back? Oh, leave. Right. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Mm. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. I think that. I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Oh uh, yeah, he, she's persuading him to move with her to Juno. I remember that. I had a ring. Nice ring? Get from your boyfriend? Come on, I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can look here as well. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. That sucks. Okay, we really looked at. Ah. If you squint, so many things you can to look. forget Tello's Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. <laughs> anyway, just before I talk to Alice, I just want to comment on where they said, you know, live in a, like, retire a place here with more trees and stuff. This is a beautiful location. Like, if I had my way, I'll definitely come here and retire in Alaska or whatever. Or a place similar that looks like this um, in South Africa, maybe. I don't know, Sirius? Sirius is a nice place. Constantly snows day and everything. Very beautiful. Anyway, okay. Let's go talk to Allison. Let's not waste time. Well, I guess we better get going. Here, I thought you'd never tear yourself away. Yeah, sorry. Views like this, yeah. I just tend to get lost in them. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. You and me both, buddy. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got Whoa. five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three, two... Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? 
This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you look like a real man. <laughs> so do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I'm just gonna say I'm just me. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh... Uh, I've never seen it, dude. I can't compare that. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, That's no big deal, I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. It's true. Hmm, I don't want to be rude, just want to... Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Ooh. What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe... Some good ones, too. To speak using your voice, okay. Oh, it's a different dialogue. Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, all right. No, okay. This guy's so confused. <laughs> he says, um, okay, well, let's ask him some questions first. How well did you know her? <sighs> Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Let's see, while I was not looking at Sam. Up close, the, the detail that they put into the characters is very impressive. Did you help with her door? Her door? 
the puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... Uh, so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Hmm. Yeah, that's all questions, so maybe we can just say... We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Uh, what does it say? Ah, I can't see. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, <laughs> uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh shame. This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Shame. This guy's obviously very emotional. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. At least we're out of house now. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, cool. I'm Allison. That's nice. Let me just see. Again. Just exploring here. Okay. Um. This place kind of reminds me of a small town vibe. Well, it is small town. It kind of reminds me of my own 
small town that I grew up. Um, you know, it's more that that literally everyone knew everyone and what was happening and yeah, definitely hey, that you. sort of vibe. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, <laughs> you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> it's time don't wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh. Um. Let's say this. Um, Michael is moving to Juno too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I wonder. Oh, wait, I saw memory. Uh, I did. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. <laughs> Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Ooh, mm, that sounds no, nice, actually. I'm pretty actually. sure she made them special for us. That actually does sound nice. Uh, I first want to walk around actually to see what's going Turn on. Fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing though, right? You can't miss it. A little playground area. Oh, knew it. Uh, where do I know? Like I can see it. Oh, there. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny, okay. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Rude. Anyway. I probably shouldn't go up here because I'm not allowed to. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like to do the exploring first before I ever like go into the main thing. So I do apologize if I take a little bit longer. Weren't they talking about demolishing this playground? Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it. You'd think I can like select the 
totem thing. Wait, there's something I can read? I swear I saw a read thingy. Was it? Oh well. Maybe I'm in up my head. Also, can you guys hear the plane? That's not coming from outside. It's in the game itself. Earlier we had a conversation with... Um, oh, here's the read. Earlier we had a conversation with Sam. There was also this plane flying Lord, by. And I was like, here. wait, is that outside? And he's like, no, it's in the game. So I was like, oh. Which is a good, like, sort of... Um, oh, not here. Good sort of ambient background noise. Like it's a bit more real, you know? Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm going to stop this video for now because I don't want to get it too far off because I know we're going to get way too involved in this. So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for so joining uh, another episode of Tell Me Why. So far, exciting. I'm really keen to see what's going on later as we delve deeper into the mystery of their mom. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Uh, yeah, awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment for this video, guys. I would really appreciate the support. Again, thank you so much and have a lovely day. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao.